over the next 50 minutes, I'd like to take you back to London and to talk to you about what is perhaps the preeminent institution for the arts in Great Britain. And also, it's home, Burlington House, which has a very long and interesting history. On the way, we will touch on art, on architecture, on history, politics, religion, mythology, fashion, scandal, and sex. <laughs> and maybe uh, have a little humour thrown in along the way. So hold on to your hats, because we've got quite a lot to go through. So, this is Burlington House in Piccadilly, in London's fashionable West End. We're a stone's throw from the Ritz Hotel, a short walk from Piccadilly Circus, a short walk from St. James's Palace, and not far beyond that, Buckingham Palace. The visitor would enter through these rather grand entrance arches and gates. Once inside, you find a courtyard. At the rear of the courtyard is essentially Burlington House. This is the original building, which has been the home of the Royal Academy since 1868. Now, the Academy was already 100 years old when it moved there. It was founded in 1768, but Burlington House is much older than that. So essentially, what I'll be doing is talking about the history of the building first, and a little later, we'll look at the, the actual history and the founding of the Academy. But if you stand on the steps outside here and look back the opposite way, across the courtyard, you'll see this range of buildings looking back to that main entrance gate and back out onto Piccadilly. Now, those buildings aren't actually anything to do, really, with the Royal Academy. Uh, they were constructed in the late Victorian period to accommodate what are known as the learned societies. These are scientific bodies, independent bodies, uh, which, uh, for example, there is the, uh, the, uh, the Chemistry Society, the Linnaean Society, the Society of Antiquaries, etc. So this is simply their uh, accommodation, and as I said, they are independent of the Academy itself. But if we look at the main building, we can start to unpick quite an interesting architectural heritage. Look, for example, at the top floor you can see that the rate of discoloration is different from the rest of the building. And that's because that particular floor was also added in the latter part of the 19th century, to provide, essentially to provide uh, exhibition space for the academy. 